Okay, in solving quadratic equations uh, by completing the square, it has to be in a non-standard form. This one, ax squared plus bx is equal to c. Let's say the given is written in a standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So, you have to... Uh, uh, change it into non-standard form. Okay, the given is x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0. So, copy x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0. And then, to change it into non-standard form, you have to transpose negative 3 on the right side. So, that makes x squared minus 2x equals 0 plus 3. 0 plus 3 is 3. So now the given is written in standard form which non-standard form which is x squared minus 2x equals 3. So after that take the value of b which is negative 2 and then always divide it by 2. Okay, so negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. After getting the quotient, you always square. Okay, negative 1 raised to 2 is positive 1. Okay, now copy x squared minus 2x, this one, and then plus 1. Where did I get 1? This Okay, after squaring, uh, the answer 1 is, uh, is here and then you have to put it in here to make it a perfect square trinomial. Okay, and then copy 3 in here plus 1 again, uh, this one. So, uh, since x squared minus 2x plus 1 is perfect square trinomial, therefore the factors now are x are the quantity of x minus 1 raised to 2 where did i get uh, negative 1 here negative 1 okay so the square root of x squared is x the square root of 1 here is 1 why is it negative because the middle the sign of the middle term is negative or simply write x and then copy the negative 1 here before squaring so uh, that comes negative 1 and then equals 4 which is 3 plus 1 so that is 4 now extract the square root okay so after extracting the square root you have to cancel out the radical sign and then the square and then also get the square root of 4 now what is left x minus 1 equals the square root of 4 is positive negative 2 okay and then, that's the time you're going to get the values of x. One positive 2 and the other one is negative 2. So, copy x minus 1 here equals positive 2. And then, transpose negative 1 on the other side. It will become x equals, two x plus, uh, x equals 2 plus 1. So, 2 plus 1 is 3. Therefore, the value of x is uh, 3. Okay, next. Um, x minus 1 equals negative 2. Transpose negative 1 on the other side. It will become negative 2 plus 1. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Therefore, the value of x is negative 1. Now, the final answer or the values of x are 3 and negative 1 using by completing the square. Okay? How about if the value of a is greater than 1? Like in this example, 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 equals 0. Again, the given is written in standard form. You have to make it in non-standard form. Okay? So, here's what you're going to do. Copy 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 equals 0. And then, transpose negative 10 on the right side. We have 2x squared plus 8x equals 0 plus 10. 
So, 0 plus 10 is 10. That will give you 2x squared plus 8x equals 10. So, this is now the non-standard form. Okay, since a is equal to 2, which is greater than 1, you have to divide it by 2 since uh, the value of a is 2. If it is 3, then divide all by 3. If it is 5, then divide all by 5. So, whatever the value of a, you have to divide it all. Okay? So, uh, since we divide it by 2, it will become 2 divided by 2, 1. So, x squared plus 8 divided by 2 is 4. So, it is 4x. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So, the non-standard form now is x squared plus 4x is equal to 5. Now, like what we did a while ago, get the value of b which is 4 and then always divide it by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2 and then you square. Uh, 2 square is 4. Now, he, uh, 4, we will be using 4 here to make it perfect square trinomial. Copy 2x squared and then 4x here. And then the 4 we got here. So plus 4 equals copy 5 there. And then the other plus 4 on the side. So since this is a perfect square trinomial, get the factors. The square of uh, the square root of x squared is x. The square root of 4 is 2 or uh, copy x. And then uh, 2 here before squaring there. So, the factors now are the quantity of x plus 2 squared equals, what is 5 plus 4? 9. Okay, here, extract the square root. So, you have to square both sides. Okay, and then cancel out the radical sign and then the square. What is left is x plus 2 equals the square root of 9 is positive negative 3. Okay, and then you have to... Uh, separate positive 3 and negative 3 to get the values of x. So, x plus 2 equals positive 3. x plus 2 is equal to negative 3. So, transpose positive 2 on the other side, it will become negative 2. So, 3 minus 2 is 1. And then, transpose 2 on the other side, it will become negative 2. So, x is equal to negative 3 minus 2. Negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. Therefore, the values of x are 1 and negative 5.